Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Now I have this sneaky suspicion that the tactics aren't behaving quite right. And I'm going to do a few videos and I'm going to start with defensive line. So what you're going to see here is I've got the same team, the same formation, the same conditioning. And what you're going to see here is if I just go into attack instructions, possession, both, both exactly the same. Defensive instructions are going to be exactly the, the same, but I'm going to amend the defensive line in a minute and just check out the advanced instructions so you can see they're all off. So what I'm going to do is for the blue and red kit, I'm going to set it to a defensive line of one. And the yellow kit, I'm going to set a defensive line to ten. Okay, so... The blue and red team should be sitting nice and deep and the yellow team defense should be pushing high up the pitch and we shall see how that plays out because I think what's happening is they've changed the way the AI behaves and they run back into position much faster and I believe this is having the impact on the tactics. Because the other day I played a defensive line of six in PES 2019 and it behaved similar to PES 2018 as if it was set to three. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to play a game, like I said, with the same team, same formation, same conditioning, same tactics, apart from the defensive line. And I'm going to set it to a blimp cam. Uh, I've put it in coach mode for both teams. And what we're going to see and witness is just to see and keep an eye on the defensive lines. Now, this is only activated when the opposition has the ball. So you need to take that into consideration. So let's skip this and uh, get straight into the game. So just remember that the blue and red team should be sitting deeper than the yellow team. The yellow team defense should be pushing high. And I believe, like... In PES 2018, when they're in that position, the defense would have been much higher. But they're so quick to get back that I think it's having an impact on the gameplay. And for me, that is really, really bad. Um, when you when you can barely tell the difference between defensive line 1 and defensive line 10. I really, really honestly believe. And I don't think this is the only thing that's, that seems to be broken. Uh, there's a few other things that don't seem to work quite right that I need to test further before I come out and say it. So, but this is the first thing I want to pick up with you guys first. So, you can see here, the yellow team's got the ball. Now they're sitting no deeper than the yellow team were, who is supposed to be playing a high, you know, a high defensive line. Obviously, it's only activated, like I say, when you haven't got the ball. But what I'll do. As I'll play the game or let this play out and then I'll take some screenshots and then we can sort of analyze hopefully they've got the ball in the same sort of areas during the match and we can just sort of see side by side comparisons just to see if there's any difference but to me when this when this plays out I've seen this once already um, and I, I honestly can't tell the difference <laughs> can't tell the difference between um, the you know can't tell the difference between the the two defensive lines it's it's more or less identical in terms of the depth of the defense so let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, from from witnessing this video and uh, I mean, it's hard for me to tell, but like I said, I will take screenshots and we'll, we'll analyze a bit further and hopefully be able to draw some conclusions. It's not easy because obviously they have the ball in different parts of the pitch. They have different players and picking up the ball. Um, but hopefully I can isolate, you know, sort of similar patterns between the two teams. You know, they play, you know, the AI is only going to play a certain way generally. Go down the wings. <laughs> play into the middle and go down the wings. Here we go. There you go. They love those wings. And also the um the other thing I wanted to pick up on was the 
central midfield and attacking midfield positions they don't feel quite right to me there's like literally no difference they end up in the same positions like uh, right here I'd expect their central midfielders to be just sat outside the box but look at the positions it's really weird you know they're all going into the box and they're central midfielders I'd expect an attacking midfielder to do that but not a central midfielder but that's 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 another story for another day. So that's half time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the blue and red team uh, defensive line. I'm going to change it to five. Okay, so we're just going to push them up a little bit. Second half. And see how this affects and obviously take a few more screenshots. I'm just going to make a note of that. So I don't forget when I do the screenshots. Okay, so here we go again. In fact, I'm just going to let this play out because I've not really got much more to say, but I think you can get a good grasp of how teams are behaving um you know like like the central and field positions I think that's quite interesting see how they just sort of like it, he's just running into that that box and it, it leaves your midfield empty which is weird because you'd expect that if you had like something like centering targets on maybe but not not um not just on their own on their own will it's always fun like my my midfield empties really fast <laughs> and that's probably why i had quite a lot of success with my uh my inter milan formation if you've not seen that i def definitely recommend checking it out that was uh one of my my favorite and best formations that i've I've come across so far. I found a really good Barcelona formation as well, fluid formation, um, which I'll share with you guys uh, maybe today or tomorrow. I just wanted to share this with you first and just compare the defensive lines. And honestly, now we've changed the blue and red. They didn't look like they're playing any differently to how they were in the in the first half. Maybe slightly higher there, maybe. You know, I might have just created this video for no, no reason at all if there if there is a difference. But it just doesn't seem like on PES 2018 it was definitely noticeable, but in PES 2019 it's harder to notice. Um, but again, it might be be because the way the players are behaving, like the central midfielders are breaking into the box, so runners are picking them. You know, the defend the midfielders for the opposition are are picking them up and dropping deep. So could be could be that. It's just that when you watch a professional football game from a tactical standpoint, you don't see teams empty their midfield very rarely. You'll always have one that sort of stays back and maybe one that goes in, but not both going in into the penalty box. Which you see here if, uh, at times. See, like, look at that. Look at the second midfielder. He was like towards the top of the screen, not really getting back. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the end of this video. What we're going to do now is when the whistle blows, I'll uh, bring some screenshots up. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh, I want your opinion as well. I don't want it just to be like me deciding what I'm seeing. I'd like to hear other people's points of view. So please do let me know your thoughts and. Uh, and comments below. In this first screenshot you're seeing the yellow team which are playing a defensive line of 10. Okay so they got the ball at the top of the screen there. And then in this second screenshot you can see the defensive line is one and it's exactly the same as the other team. Here's another example but this time the defensive line of five exactly the same position. This is after half time is gone. 
again. Balls on the other side of the pitch this time. Defensive line five, exactly the same position. This is uh, defensive line one against a counter attack. So you can see here that there is no difference when you watch the next counter attack. Look at that. Similar type of ball, similar type of formation or defensive line. There's no depth to it. Doesn't matter whether it's 10 or 1. Here you go again. Defensive line 1, exactly the same as this screenshot here. Defensive line 10. So there you go, guys. That's my conclusion. I think the tactics or the defensive line is certainly messed up. And other ones too, I need to investigate further. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.